Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. Whether you're new to Cricut Design Space or you just want to up your skills, here are five things you need to know to make using Design Space a breeze. Number five, how to fix the spacing on cursive writing so it's actually attached. You type in your quote, turn it into a pretty cursive font and ugh, your words are all stuck together and the letters have spaces between them. Don't worry, this is an easy fix. Just highlight your writing, click on group, and then drag the letters where you want them. When you're done, highlight the words again and click group. This is an easy fix and best of all, no more spaces. Number four, how to get rid of the cut lines between cursive writing. Once you have your letters together how you like them, you can encounter another problem. When you go to cut, the letters will be touching and in the right position, but there will be a cut line between each letter. For a more polished look, try this instead. Once you're happy with the look of your word or quote, highlight it and click weld. Now it's one solid shape instead of individual letters and those annoying cut lines will be gone. Number three, how to keep your design together when you go to cut it. When you create a design, you want everything to get cut out just like it looks in Design Space. But what should you do when you press make it and discover that everything's been taken apart? Don't panic, just press cancel and go back. Highlight your whole design and then click attach. This will ensure everything stays where you want it. Number two, how to add an outline. If you want to add some emphasis to your writing or a picture, Design Space has an easy way to add an outline. Highlight the part you want to add the outline to and then click offset. You can move the slider to make the outline thicker as well as choose the corner type. Once you're happy with it, click apply. If you want, you can even change the color. Just select the outline layer on the right and then pick the color you want. Number one, how to take parts out of a picture that you don't want. If you have a picture or an SVG, but you only want to use part of it, it's easier to remove the parts that you don't want. Highlight your picture, then down at the bottom right, click contour. This tool lets you choose which parts will be visible. Just click on the part of the design that you want to take out. You'll notice they turn a lighter shade in the main picture, and that part gets selected in the scroll down menu on the right. Once you've clicked on everything that you want to remove, just click the X and voila, they are gone. Well, thanks for joining me today, and I hope these tips help you with your next design. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.